A little while ago, we had the good fortune of staying in Bali for five months. In today's video, we're gonna share with you what we learned about Bali in our time there. Hi, my name is Air, and this is Plan Free, the channel that illustrates a location independent lifestyle. If you'd like to support the channel for free, press the like button. It takes about a millisecond. Also, you can subscribe and comment below. After spending five months in Bali, one of the first things we learned about was the people, of course, because we were surrounded by many of them. And what we want to say is that Bali in general had some of the most friendly, warm, and giving people that we'd ever spend time with. And we've lived in several countries now for months at a time around the world. The Balinese people specifically that are native to Bali and that are of the Hindu religion are the people that I'm speaking about here specifically being extremely friendly and warm. In fact, that would probably be one of the main reasons why we would consider returning to Bali is because of the Balinese people. At the time of this recording, the cost of living in Bali is still fairly economical compared to countries like Canada or the USA, Australia, UK, etc. It's not quite as inexpensive as it used to be or some of the other countries surrounding it, let's say Cambodia, Laos, etc. But it is still a better deal than living in your home country. At the time of this recording, I think it's still pretty reasonable to live a modest lifestyle in Bali long term for around $1,000 US a month. I think that you can get reasonably comfortable accommodations, uh, eat good quality food, go out from time to time for entertainment, whether it be uh, cocktails or uh, restaurant food, uh, a few activities here and there, and still be able to do that for at or around $1,000 a month, which is getting a little bit more difficult in other countries. After spending considerable time in Bali, Indonesia, we learned that this relatively small to medium sized island has pretty well every kind of beach that you could think about enjoying. Anywhere from white sand to black sand to rocks to cliffs, anything from calm waters for swimming and uh, snorkeling and free diving to some excellent uh, waves to be had and uh, attracts surfers from all over the world who like to come and take advantage of the waves that are available here. In Bali, there's an amazing variety of food available, specifically the fruits and vegetables that are grown on or near the island are of excellent quality. Many of them you may not have even heard before. Like for example, before we arrived in Bali, I had never heard of things like uh, snake fruit, I think I had heard of mangosteens before, but the first time I had ever had the opportunity to try them was in Bali and they're excellent. So there are many fruits uh, and vegetables that they commonly eat over in this area of the world that if you're from North America or the UK, you may not have even ever seen or heard of these vegetables and they're very good. We found the average daily temperatures in Bali to be very pleasant. Uh, it was never too hot or uh, it was never really cold at all. Sometimes it would become humid, especially in what they call their rainy season. Their rainy season I would categorize overall as mild compared to places like high elevation Colombia, Panama, uh, even um, northern Mexico. I would say Bali has less rainfall on average than places like this. Uh, of course Costa Rica. but. During the, its rainy season, it still will rain, let's say for an hour or two during the day, uh, quite hard, and uh, sometimes even a day, let's say. And this season lasts for several months of the year before sort of waning and becoming uh, a drier, let's say slightly warmer climate for a few months. So it rotates from year to year. If you're planning a shorter vacation in Bali, you might want to have a quick uh, research into when their rainy season is. But again, overall, we didn't find the amount of rain that we experienced there to be uh, a dominating factor in your plan. One of the coolest things that we found about Bali, Indonesia is its location and the fact that it has an airport. So there, you may or may not know that 
Indonesia is comprised of thousands and thousands of islands and many of them are interesting to go and see whether it be a day tour or let's say a weekend or uh, even a week or longer. You can get to and from these islands from Bali in a variety of different ways. Planes, trains, automobiles, no actually probably planes and boats are the two most common but you can get out and experience different things. For example, when we were there, we had the opportunity to explore Nusa Penida, which of course is renowned for its views and its beaches, and rightly so. We also had the opportunity to fly over to Flores, which is a neighboring island. jump on a boat, live on that for three days and tour the uh, Komodo Islands in Komodo National Park. And I can highly recommend that if you haven't done it to place it on your to-do list. There are numerous other surrounding islands that are very interesting and worth your time. And you could uh, stay in Bali and explore almost endlessly using Bali as a home base. Probably the biggest thing we learned after spending five months living in Bali, Indonesia is that five months wasn't nearly enough time to properly explore Bali itself. Now, yes, some of that time we were there, it was a COVID related lockdown, but I think even if we were free to roam for the entire five months, we would still have the feeling we have now, which is we barely scratched the surface of what Bali has to offer in the time we were there. We feel like there's a lot left to see and do, and this probably leads us to being rather open to returning to Bali someday and spending another considerable chunk of time there exploring some of the other things that we didn't see. And even on the days that you're feeling like you want to relax, just kick back and enjoy the climate or your pool at your villa, Bali's an excellent place to do nothing. So. It really has it all. My name's Aaron, this is Plan Free. Here's again a friendly reminder that likes are free. They just take a millisecond, but they help a lot. If you like the video, press the like button, maybe add yourself to the comments and watch some more of our videos. We'll see you again soon in the next one. Bye for now.